Hello friends, welcome back and thank you for joining us today. We have a big day of checkout here. We're going to a super awesome campground we're going to be getting to. But we also have some big news to share with you today. I don't know about like big news. Um, basically just a quick notification for you guys is we've decided to challenge ourselves and do like a full week of daily videos which we'll see how it goes. We'll see how you like it. Um, we'll see how we like it honestly but basically we just found that recently we've been going and doing like so many cool things and we've only had time to really film the things that we're doing and seeing out and about and it's been more about what we're doing rather than our day-to-day -day life in the RV and camping and yeah. stuff like that so we kind of want to get back to a little bit more basic videos so that we can put out more videos this week and also just kind of show like what it is really like living in an RV and especially with a baby and not just the national parks that we're seeing and stuff like that. Yeah, because the camping's been small, the scenery's been big, so yeah. hopefully this will be different and we're going to be posting them day after day, so tune in tomorrow as well for the next Yay! one in this series oh, yeah. and for the next seven straight. Yeah. Hopefully it's something different, but with that being said, we hope you enjoy the day with us here and we're hitting the road to the next location. Let's go! Let's go! Lucky us, there's no lineup for the dump either. <laughs> um, I won't go into too many details because it's gross, but this is probably the worst sandy dump we've ever been to. You, you put your sewer hose into a hole like you normally would, but that hole goes right into this rectangular area that's just sealed by a grate so all the smell you can see it it's all just flowing through things get collected on the sides in that rectangle area and man that's that's not good okay so I'm trying to get some editing done here in the passenger seat also we had just checked when we had service that um, there's a state park near Sedona that is pretty nice we think and it also has electrical hookups which would be really nice because it's supposed to be like 33 degrees Celsius or something like the pretty much the whole time we're gonna be in Sedona so we're looking at trying to switch our campsite to the state park and it seems pretty competitive usually but I just refreshed it and there happened to be one available and of course now no service so I've just been refreshing it here in the and I just had a little bit of service, but it looks like it's not working anymore. Ah, uh, I really hope that we get this site because that'd be awesome. Yep. Oh, I see Wilson Arch. Ooh. Look at that! Oh. Hey, Wilson Arch! Oh, I don't know what he's doing now. Uh, I just hit confirm and it took me back to the start, so I don't know if I got it and now it's not loading. Why? The struggle. Okay, we're back in service. We're in the town of Monticello, I believe it is. It was sad saying goodbye to the LaSalle Mountain and all the Moab scenery, but we had a good run there. Alicia managed to book that site for three days, not four in the end. Someone happened to take the first day, but we're just grateful they didn't take it right in the middle or something. So we're going to go to our original site down the road, and then we have three days in the beautiful hookup site at Dead Horse Ranch State Park, not Dead Horse Point. <laughs> and now we're going to go grab some groceries at this grocery store. We know it's pretty reliable. We hit it up on the way to Moab, and then we're going to have some lunch back on the road. Alright, it's been a cool drive. We're going back through the town of Bluff and we're heading to Monument Valley and we're going officially to where Keep Your Daydreams stayed even at Golding's RV Park. Looks like a really nice spot. We're supposed to be at some cliffs and on the way there though, we just saw a twister. 
Oh my god. I don't know if you call it a twister, a tornado, honestly maybe just a dust devil. But it was ripping. You could see it from so far in the distance and we managed to drive just past it, so that's pretty cool. It's really neat driving through all these different kind of high country desert areas where we're back to the orange dirt. We're gonna miss the rocks of course, but Monument Valley and Forest Gump land, here we come. I think we'll come back here another day, but this is where they filmed the Forrest Gump running scene. That's a pretty good view of Monument Valley. And everyone wants a picture. <laughs> okay, so I think our campground is right in between these two big rocks here, which is going to be super cool. Just checked in for site number 26 and look there's an indoor pool this place has so much it seems amazing this goldings area is all like a mini town they have gas stations theaters a john wayne's cabin apparently there's a lot to do and see here apparently so we're just going to kind of sneak on through here we should have a big rig pull through apparently look at us moving up in the world and we're just gonna Squeeze past Mr. Giant. Oh, he's got a marine thing. Here. Squeeze past on over here. Not the first right, but the second right. I see it. I see it. I mean, typical RV park being close together, but looks like the rock views are real nice. So we're just checking in and getting the stabilizers down, but look at this. I drove over this way earlier in the day, straddling as best I could, and Looks like someone's pair of gaunch got wrapped around in here or something. If you're missing your blue gaunchies out by the Monument Valley area, I'll have them for a couple more minutes at most. Okay, we're pulled through into our big rig pull through. We just kind of barely fit with the truck length. I feel like they must know. They said we were a 30 foot trailer, so they secretly saved the big, big ones for the actual really big rigs. But it's a nice sight here, a little bit steep. We were unleveled by 4.5 inches on the driver's side, but with the slide out and our Anderson levels, we managed to get perfectly level here still. So if you're considering buying the Anderson levels, definitely a good buy. They look nice. They're easy to use. You can do four and a half inches. So did pretty good. Our stabilizers on the back, they are pretty fully extended. And I used these new blocks I was given by a different camper a few days ago back. But we did what we can. Looking forward to checking out the area though. They have so much to see in the middle of Monument Valley. Keep your daydream came here like I mentioned earlier. So, Golding's RV Park, let's see what you got for us. We looked around a little bit here. There's a heated pool and an indoor pool here we're gonna be checking out tomorrow. Chloe was so excited to go swimming, but it's getting close to bedtime. We got a feeder and all that good stuff. Right now, I am just cooking up Chloe a little piece of toast with some cheese and a bit of leftover spaghetti on it here. Chloe is down here shirt off and ready for some spaghetti food don't want to get messy like last night all over again and alicia is working on the next video to come out here hammering down so i am on daddy duty right now i think we're going to settle into the evening here though get chloe fed and then it'll be her bedtime before long and then we get to enjoy monument valley coming up so let us know down below how you enjoyed this video i know it's a bit different we didn't have as much fancy stuff maybe showing you the scenery along the way but if we cut down on that kind of stuff we can include you in more lifestyle stuff like we said we're going to try and do seven consecutive videos coming out here so please try and tune in everyone if you'd like to join us we'll see how we can do and see if we can keep up all seven in a row otherwise appreciate having you here and we'll see you tomorrow then have a good evening friends take care